Fix it in one weekend with this simple ratio. If your once thriving garden suddenly looks dull, plants are stunted, and worms have mysteriously vanished, then what's happening beneath your mulch might shock you. The very layer meant to nourish and protect your soil could be silently choking it instead. Stay with me, because in the next few minutes I'll show you exactly what this hidden soil killer is, the clear signs it's at work, and the step-by-step -step formula to fix it fast. This is Soil and Crop Central, and today we're digging deep, literally, to rescue your garden's health. For most gardeners, mulch is the magic blanket that keeps soil moist, controls weeds, and enriches the earth. But here's the truth. When mulch is applied incorrectly, it becomes one of the biggest threats to soil life. The problem starts when mulch layers become too thick, anything over 3 inches, or when synthetic or dyed mulches are used. These materials can create a barrier that suffocates the soil underneath, cutting off oxygen and trapping moisture. Over time, the organic matter beneath begins to rot rather than decompose naturally. This process forms what's known as anaerobic conditions, where there's little to no oxygen. In this environment, good microbes die off, and harmful bacteria take over. The result is sour mulch, which releases toxic compounds like acetic acid and ammonia that burn plant roots and drive away beneficial earthworms. What's worse, compacted or unbalanced mulch can block rainfall and airflow, creating a hard, lifeless layer between your plants and the living soil below. The first warning sign of a dying soil ecosystem is the disappearance of worms. A healthy garden bed should teem with 10 to 20 worms per square foot. If you dig into the top few inches and see none, it's a sign your soil can't breathe. The second sign is the smell. Healthy soil smells earthy and clean, while suffocating soil smells sour, like vinegar or ammonia. That odor is the result of anaerobic bacteria releasing toxic gases. You may also notice your soil is hard and compacted beneath the mulch. Water tends to pool or run off instead of soaking in, and plant roots look short, pale, or sluggish. Even after fertilizing, plants struggle to take up nutrients because their root systems are trapped in a hostile environment. Mulch that's turning black, slimy, or moldy on the surface is another clear indicator that the layer is too thick or made from poor quality material. Let's restore your soil's health using a simple but powerful process. The good news is that once you open up your soil to air again and balance the right materials, nature does most of the recovery work for you. The first step is to remove the suffocating mulch. Grab a rake and take off about 2 to 3 inches of the top layer. You don't want to mix this damaged mulch back into your soil because it's already fermenting. Compost it separately allowing it to break down fully before reuse. This exposes the soil beneath to fresh air and sunlight, helping to reset the balance. Next, aerate the soil. Using a garden fork or a hand aerator, gently loosen the top 6 to 8 inches of soil. Don't turn it over completely, just lift and let air in. This helps oxygen circulate and wakes up dormant microbes. If your soil smells sour, it means acidity has built up, so this step is crucial to let gases escape. Once aerated, it's time to reintroduce life. For every 10 square feet of garden bed, add 2 cups of rich compost and 1 cup of worm castings. These materials are loaded with beneficial microorganisms that rebuild soil structure and bring back your earthworm population. If the soil still smells acidic or looks blackened, sprinkle 1 tablespoon of garden lime over that same 10 square foot section to neutralize the pH. Then, gently mix everything into the top 3 inches of soil without compacting it again. Now that your soil is breathing again, you can reapply mulch, but this time in the correct ratio. Always use natural, untreated materials like shredded leaves, straw, or plain bark. For smaller beds under 50 square feet, apply a 2-inch layer. Medium-sized beds between 50 and 100 square feet should get 2.5 inches, and large garden areas over 100 square feet can safely handle a 3-inch maximum. Remember, more isn't better. Beyond 3 inches, you're cutting off airflow again. 
A good rule of thumb is one standard three cubic foot bag of mulch for every hundred square feet of garden bed. Spread it evenly and make sure to leave about a three inch gap around each plant stem to prevent stem rot and pest buildup. Once applied, water the mulch layer lightly to help it settle and start the decomposition process naturally. For gardeners who want an extra boost, microbial compost tea can accelerate soil recovery dramatically. This is a living brew that feeds soil microbes and encourages explosive root growth. To make it, mix one gallon of non-chlorinated water with one cup of mature compost and one teaspoon of unsulfured molasses. Stir the mixture and let it aerate for 24 hours. If you have an aquarium bubbler, even better, it helps oxygenate the brew. After a day, pour this microbial tea evenly over every 10 square feet of restored soil. The living organisms in the tea repopulate your garden with beneficial bacteria and fungi, jump-starting the soil food web. For best results, repeat this application every two weeks for the next month. You'll start noticing softer soil, improved drainage, and the return of earthworms in as little as 7 to 10 days. Maintaining healthy soil doesn't have to be complicated. Once you've corrected your mulch layers and rebuilt your soil life, a simple weekly inspection keeps everything in balance. Check that mulch depth stays under 3 inches and make sure it's never packed too tightly. Smell the soil often. Healthy earth always smells fresh and neutral. Watch for worm activity and ensure water absorbs evenly after watering or rainfall. Avoid walking on mulched areas to prevent compaction and refresh your compost top up every season to feed your soil continuously. The hidden soil killer under your mulch isn't a pest, a disease, or bad luck. It's a lack of oxygen. Thick, compacted, or poor quality mulch silently strangles the living network beneath your plants, driving away worms, microbes, and nutrients. But with the right ratios, proper aeration, and a little microbial support, you can revive your garden's vitality faster than you think. Take a few hours this weekend to check your mulch depth, open up your soil, and apply the formulas we discussed. Within days, you'll notice richer color, stronger roots, and a return of life under your feet. This is what real soil recovery looks like. Simple science, applied the right way. If this helped you understand what's really happening beneath your mulch, make sure to hit that subscribe button and share this video with another gardener who might be battling the same hidden problem. Together, we're building healthier, living soils, one garden bed at a time. This is Soil and Crop Central, reminding you to feed your soil, not just your plants.